All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to open up this HP laptop to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD. All right, probably also look at the RAM. Uh, but this is an HP DV6-6C35DX. All right, I know it's really hard to see, but that's the model. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure there's an HP, yeah, HP Pavilion DV6. Sorry, I didn't mean it's an HP, I meant it's a pavilion. <laughs> All right, anyways, now that we got the battery out, so if you saw, you slide this over this way and then it comes up that way. Uh, the battery model number, I mean, you should have your own to check it, but if you lost it or threw it away, the battery is MU06. There's also an HP spare part number, 593553-001. Okay, um, to open this bottom cover, you slide it this way after removing the battery. You can see it pops up a portion that way, then you just pull it up. Very simple, there's two slots for RAM, all right? To get the RAM out, you just pull the two tabs away from it, just like that. And this is a PC3-12800S stick of RAM. You should be okay with any PC3-12800S, so if you want, you can put two four gig sticks, you can put two eight gig sticks, I believe. This one, is that it? It's only four gigs, I thought it was eight gig, but that's only four gigs, okay? So this laptop has six gigs of RAM. Okay, you put it back in at an angle like that. Uh, let me actually get a thumbnail here. There's not really much to this one, but there we go. Okay, now that you got the bottom cover off, you have access to the optical disk drive, the hard drive or SSD, the RAM, the wireless card, the CMOS battery, and then you got the two connectors for um, both the hard drive and the optical disk drive. And then you have this little cable here, which probably is for a speaker. I'm not too sure. I don't see where it's going. It's going all the way under here somewhere. I think that's for the speaker. <clears throat> all right. So the CMOS battery or BIOS RTC real-time clock battery is a standard CR2032. Um, if you wanted to remove that, you'd have to use like a small little flathead screwdriver and then you s slide it up this way. These are spring-loaded. When you push it in there, then you can actually lift it out. Um, usually I would just push it forward and use a magnet to pull it up. All right, the wireless card is here. I don't know if it's upgradable, but to remove it, you go from the tail of the antenna, go underneath, and then pop it up. All right, the optical disk drive, there's one screw here. Um, I have videos showing this on other models, but basically there's just one screw here, okay? Once you remove that screw, you can slide the whole thing out. So just go behind it, and you can see you can slide it out. All right, this, I believe, is one of the thicker ones, uh, like one... 1.2 or 12 millimeter, 1.2 centimeters or 12 millimeters, something like that. So if you wanted, you can get a um, hard drive adapter for this and you can actually put a second hard drive and replace the optical disc drive with this. So some people do that so they have more storage since a lot of people don't use CDs anymore. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and replace the hard drive with an SSD. Okay, so we already cloned everything over. Um, if you're replacing the, well, Technically, you don't need to have the battery out to work on or replace the hard drive or the RAM. But in this case, to remove the bottom cover, you have to take it out anyway. So, yeah. All right. So there's four screws holding the hard drive in place. So let's go ahead and undo those screws. And then there's four more screws holding the hard drive into this caddy. So we're going to have to remove those so that we can put the SSD into its place. Okay. You want to be careful because it is attached with this little cable here. Okay, so after you get the screws out, we're going to carefully lift this up. All right, and then watch out for the cable. Is it just this one right here? No, okay, so it's the one on this side. If you want, you can disconnect this. You just grab this little flap and then just pull it straight up just like that. Okay, and you can see somebody actually put a label on here. Anyways, there's this metal tab holding the connector in place, so we do have to take the hard drive out in order to replace the hard drive. So there's four screws. Okay. There's two. This one. And the last one. All right, now that we got these four screws out, the hard drive should just fall out. Just hold the metal thing and then drop that out. Okay, oh, it's kind of getting caught on it. There we go. All right, so now we're going to remove this connector. You want to be careful removing this. Don't just pull on the top here because this can separate. What I do is I pull lightly, and you can see a gap forms in between. 
I'll use my fingernail. You can use a little plastic pry tool, whatever works for you. Get in there and you can see that separates the two parts and there we go. All right, so now we have the SSD the customer brought. So I cloned already the OS over to it. So yeah, everything is good. Now we're going to just put this metal bracket on top. The way you know which way is right, you can see these screw holes, those line up, uh, those go against the back of this metal plate. So just line that up, <coughs> get that in. And then we put the four screws back in the sides here. Oh, it's not lining up quite right. Okay, there we go. Kind of had to push it down more. Got that one. And we got this one. Okay, and we got the other two on this side. Like to twist it backwards a little to make sure the threads aren't stripping the inside. You don't want to cross the threads and then destroy it. Okay, so there we go. All right, now that we got all four screws in, this just basically drops into place. Okay, and then this piece, you want to make sure to guide it all around again. Oh, I think someone took this out before. I don't know if the cable's supposed to go all the way around and then go in here, like up here. But I don't know, they had it like this, so I'm just gonna put it back that way. Okay, line this up. Make sure that you don't try and push this in when it's not lined up right, because you can damage the connector below. Okay, so there we go, get that all lined up, push that stuff all into place. <clears throat> and then we just get these four screws back in. Pretty simple, straightforward, all right, not really much to it. Then we'll get the bottom cover back on and power it up, make sure everything looks good. Okay, last couple screws. This design is very nice. It forces you to disconnect the battery before working on these components, and it lets you access the most uh, commonly upgraded or replaced parts on a computer. All right. Um, the only one that's not like super, super easy is the screen, which it's still a lot easier than the other newer computers. All right, so you get the bottom portion in here, <clears throat> lower that down. I like to push this side in first because it has those little feet and then we can go ahead and push this stuff in. All right, <clears throat> just like that, push this down and push that and there we go. All right, so the battery, now to get that, you just get the back, these little feet in first. So go in like that and then swing it down and there we go. All right, let's go ahead and power it up. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right? If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. Um, yeah, other than that, I uh, have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More. If you want to watch those videos, it would help a lot if you could um, if you could subscribe to that channel as well. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Anyways, um, this thing, as you can see, booted up. And now I'm just going to restart it one time. It's always a good idea to restart the computer one time whenever you make any big hardware changes. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one, right? Let's drop this spike.